By the 1960s, the civil rights movement had been in full gear for almost a decade. But institutionalized discrimination against blacks remained part of everyday life, especially in the South. And violence against blacks was escalating. 1963 resulted in significant new momentum for the movement, and media coverage increased awareness across the nation of the ongoing violence. Governor George Wallace tried to defy the courts by refusing to integrate Alabama schools and universities. President Kennedy sent civil rights legislation to Congress. Civil rights activist Medgar Evers was gunned down in his own driveway. An estimated 250,000 people attended the march on Washington, a peaceful rally on the National Mall in Washington, D.C., to hear Martin Luther King, John Lewis, Philip Randolph, and others advocate for the civil and economic rights of blacks. Tragically, 1963 ended with the assassination of the sitting president. Newly sworn in President Lyndon Baines Johnson actively pursued Kennedy's civil rights agenda. Building on this momentum in the summer of 1964, civil rights organizers recruited thousands of volunteers to help register black voters. The campaign was focused on a state with one of the largest black populations in the country and a horrific record of minority persecution, Mississippi. This project came to be known as Freedom Summer and was marked by blood, tragedy, and triumph. Freedom Summer volunteers, many of them young white college students, traveled south to register eligible voters, teach young black students in freedom schools, and most importantly, to draw attention from the media. At the same time, back in Washington, D.C., supporters were hard at work pushing the Civil Rights Bill through the House and the Senate. The majority of blacks throughout the South, and especially in Mississippi, lived in poverty. Racists used Jim Crow laws, brutality and murder to shut out black voters and maintain oppression. The Freedom Summer mission was to shatter the status quo once and for all. Freedom Summer succeeded in its mission to register voters and shine a glaring light on racial injustice. The success came at a great cost, with Freedom Summer activists and the Black community under attack through bombings, beatings, and arrests. Over a thousand volunteers were arrested, with many beaten by mobs or racist police. Three civil rights workers, Andrew Goodman, James Cheney, and Michael Schwerner were brutally murdered. Their murders launched an FBI manhunt in an operation known as Mississippi Burning. The killings and unrest brought national attention to the civil rights cause and created an outpouring of sympathy. Voter registration drives and marches kept the issue of black discrimination in the public mind, paving the way for the important Voting Rights Act of 1965. Freedom Summer helped create momentum for the civil rights movement and left behind a legacy of faith in the power of political action. <laughs>